Oh, hey, you're back again. Okay, we're going to look at Staff Portal and we're going to look at a tool called Internet Filtering Web Filter Check. And that's a new tool that's in your My Applications. It's actually an updated tool of an existing one that's been there for quite a long time, many years. Um, but it's been updated because we now have two different types of internet service in our schools. So uh, let's have a look at what Internet Filtering Web Filter Check is all about. It's listed under I in My Applications. It's alphabetical order. And when you click on it, it should uh, launch for us. Let's just click on it again. That's a bit better. So Web Filter Check is the tool that you use to identify whether a website that you're wishing to use with your students will actually work for them at school. Uh, we've got a filter in place because the internet's full of uh, all sorts of different sites and we don't want students accessing all of them, um, but we need to know whether the ones that we want to use are accessible to them or not. It's just a matter of coming in here, typing in uh, a website. So for example, if I wanted to check whether sydneymorningherald.com.au is accessible to my students, I could type that URL in uh, or paste it and I could click the submit button and it will come up and show me a new report. So this is different to how it was before, because as I said, we've got two internet filtering services now. One is for internet at edge schools and one is for non-internet at edge schools. So previously, a year ago, uh, all of our schools were non-internet at edge. They were using the proxy service and uh, we have internet filtering hosted at the state data center which is a central filtered service that uh, is applied to all schools. Since then, about 900 of our 2200 odd schools have moved across to something called Internet at Edge. And that is where a Telstra link is directly um, provided to every single school of these large schools that are on Internet at Edge. And they have a service inside their school, which is on a, a box made by Palo Alto, and it has filtering on it. So the filtering is local as opposed to central, uh, which is the other case for the other 14, 1300 odd schools. So um, this particular website, sydneymorningherald.com.au is allowed for every single student group and every staff group. So um, that's a global allow that's um, available for all. But you can use this tool to check not only one site at a time, you can go up to 50 URLs at a time if you wanted to. So you could construct a list of the, all of them. Here is a, um, a set of URLs. And what we want to do is paste those into the list. Click Submit. I'll just get rid of these. And what we'll find is the report will come back fairly quickly, checking all four websites and saying that, okay, Reading Eggs is an educational site. It's accessible for both Palo Alto and Bluecoat. Wix.com.au, oh sorry, Wix.com is an internet hosting site, so a web page hosting site. And it's actually got terms of service that say you have to be over 13 years old to use it. So that's why it's denied for years kindergarten through to eight, but allowed for everybody else. Facebook is a site that is for social networking, um, clearly not appropriate for our students at school. So we block it, uh, denied for all students, but it's allowed for staff. And a, a site which is totally inappropriate, which is gambling, betfair.com.au, is denied for everybody. So these are the sorts of res results you'll see for um, different sites that you enter to check their filtering status. Now, what might happen is you might see a discrepancy between Internet at Edge sites and non-Internet at Edge sites. And that's because these filters are not produced by the same companies. They're two different companies. This one's called Blue Coat, and this is Palo Alto. And what you'll find is that there could very well be discrepancies when you're talking about billions of sites on the internet. Uh, not all of them are gonna be categorized exactly the same way by the two different companies. And what we then need to do is if you find that a site is blocked on, on one service and allowed on another, then um, either it needs to be blocked on that other one or it needs to be allowed on the other one, if you can follow what I'm saying. So in that case, if it is an educational site and you need to use it with students and it's been blocked, for example, in your school, then you need to log a service desk call. You need to request that the site be unblocked. It will be checked and that particular site will then be uh, updated on the appropriate 
internet service. Hope that's clear, hope that helps. So find the new web service, web filtering check service in your My Applications in the staff portal.